Okay, and welcome. Today I'm going to take a look at Google Home and how to do, uh, navigate it and how it integrates with our Samsung Smart Things in our Smart Home. So you'll see an icon on your phone that looks like this, Google Home. And you'll open it up and it'll say Welcome Home. I'm going to hit the upper part here. And it's going to give me several different options. Cast screen audio because you could use the Chromecast so you can cruise a or the Chromecast Audio. You could explore, you can go to music. This is part of the Google Assistant. And you got the more settings. You have devices, account preferences, how to cast the Google Store. So we can take a look at uh, Explore and it will show you uh, several different interesting topics here um, that your assistant can tell you. Let's go to music. All right, and this is music services, the Google Play Music free service available. Uh, or if you use a different provider, you can use that. And then we have our home control, and that's what I'm interested in talking about today. And so all of my devices are compatible with Samsung SmartThings, and I have the hub in my garage, and these devices are in rooms. So say I have switches and um, dimmers in the den, in the living room, dining room. Well, all these devices belong to a room, and so we have rooms here. And each room has one or more devices. And that becomes important when you want to control them with your voice through the Google Assistant. This is also available on Google Home, Android 6.0 phones, and tablets, watches, TVs, and Chromebooks. I also am able to link it to the Nest uh, thermostat, which I have. And the Samsung Smart Things here you can see. So I have all the compatible Samsung Smart Things Z Wave or Zigbee uh, devices. And those come under the uh, different rooms I have. So I have a dimmer next to my bed. I have a master closet light. I have a den dimmer switch. And there's also a Samsung Smart Things sensor. So when I walk into the room, it senses I'm there, it turns the light on. That way, in case you're carrying something heavy into a room or you know, it's just inconvenient to turn on the, the light switch for you. It turns on automatically on sensing your presence. Okay. I have dock lights, fire pit, front door, and then your kitchen. You have other uh, different uh, switches and, and so on. Um, and I do have cameras and those come under here as well. And I also set up the ring doorbell through here as well as the Natatmo, uh weather station okay and if i go to the plus sign here you can see how i can link services and i do have three devices under here okay uh, the nest and i have 39 devices under the smart thing samsung connect i could add new i can add a power smart plug au home automation bridge or air all right then you have the bond smart home and um Several other things you can see here, the Honeywell, LG, Leviton, Lux products, New Bright, and then the Osram Li-Fi North America. So you can see this encompasses and uh, takes into account a lot of different products and lines for that matter, okay? So let's just take a look. You got Google Activity Controls, My Activity. Um, so when I want to do something, I'm essentially going to say, um, turn on dining room dimmer, okay? And it's going to do that once I click on the uh, home button and hold it to talk to the assistant, okay? So, you know, you have to add devices that are part of your hub and part of your system first, and then you can add them to your uh, Google Home into rooms and that's when you can start controlling them. So I may have had my den dimmer switch on my Samsung Smart Things, but I still have to add it to the Google Home uh, Smart Home in order to be able to control that device through my voice with pushing the home button and holding it. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So, but let's go to one of these, for example, uh, the bed dimmer. You can give it a nickname and you can put it in which room you want to put it in. All right. And it's pretty self-explanatory. All right. But, um, so that's Google Home. 